big story. Taunton police were investigating two unrelated violent crimes in the city that left two people dead. Police tell us a Taunton man was shot to death inside an apartment on Hart Street when the victim of a home invasion fought back. And just a few miles away, a young woman was found stabbed to death inside a home on Morton Street. Right now, a vigil is about to get underway for her. New at 630, Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado just spoke with the victim's fiance and sister. She joins us live from Taunton with Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. As police continue to investigate this horrific murder, we're talking with the victim's fiance and her family about what she was like. I can't even think of somebody who could want to do something like this to her. The fiance of Vanessa Courtney distraught one day after she found her partner of four years dead in the apartment they shared on Morton Street in Taunton. Police say she was either stabbed or slashed to death. Nicole Clark says there was no sign that anyone broke in. It was somebody who she knew, you know, somebody she let this person inside my home. She trusted them to come inside here. And this is what they did to her. He just was a loving person and she had a big heart. Courtney's sister, Sarah Courtney, says Vanessa recently finished barber school. She leaves behind a loving family who just want her killer caught. She loved all my siblings and my mother. Her son. She just her was... son, my nephew, Jaden. The memorial of flowers, candles, and loving messages grows outside the apartment while police investigate who committed the homicide. They do not currently have any suspects, and Clark says she doesn't know of anyone who disliked her fiance. Everybody loved her. Everybody loved her. And a vigil is starting here at 7 on Morton Street. If you have any information about any suspects who may have killed Vanessa Courtney, call police. Live in Taunton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.